Hey guys, Mike here from Rapid Purple. So, wanted to do a quick little video, um, and I do mean quick this time. I know the other previous two videos went in excess of 15 minutes. Um, that one and that one. So we're going to try to do this one in a much quicker time frame. I want to go over four kind of main tips that I generally tend to give out to most business owners when they ask me about doing their own social media campaigns. Um, very basic, very simple, but kind of very key uh, tips uh, that I believe everybody should kind of stick to and follow, um, or at least know. So let's hop right into it. Uh, first off, be creative and be yourself. Um, and when I say be yourself, I mean really be yourself. Um, let's say you are the owner of a pizzeria, and you're just hanging out late one night, you're trying out different things, uh, you know, you might have trying out different topics, you had some prosciutto balls lying around, you took those prosciutto balls and you put them on top of the pizza, you cut them in half, whatever the case is, you're like, oh, this looks pretty cool, you know, this tasted great. Before you eat your whole creation, take a picture, throw it up on um, Twitter, put it up on Instagram, uh, put it up on Facebook, let other people see it, let other people interact with it, let other people share it. Um, whatever it is that you might find interesting that you as a business owner um, happens to come across or read or see and, and it's in some way relevant to what your business does or it's relevant to the target market of your business share it post it up there uh, so really be free to be yourself and also be be creative so you have that you know example with the pizza guy uh, your bagel uh, shop for example you might want to um, take a little video, let's say you make your bagels in-house, you want to take a little video of, hey, this is our bagel making process. Throw it up on YouTube, uh, throw it up on Facebook videos. Facebook videos in a new stream um, start playing automatically, so that's a great way to kind of automatically gain some attention. Uh, people will hear it as they're scrolling through their news feed, it'll automatically start playing. Um, they'll see the visuals, it'll automatically start playing. Um, you know, they're more than likely going to stop, give it a couple seconds. If they're interested, watch the whole video. That's some great, you know, way to promote yourself and to get some social media and some social networking going on. Um, so that would definitely be my number one tip out there, um, which leads me into my second one, which is try to use as many visuals um, as possible. And I don't mean jam pack a post with 30 different pictures, but try to focus on trying to have, um, you know, something visual that grabs your reader's attentions when you're posting things. Uh, pictures, videos, um, link previews. So they all kind of make the regular text post seem a little bit more interesting. It, it, they make it a little bit more visual so when you scroll through it in a news feed it just stands out, you know, that much more. Um, having a cool flyer attached to you talking about an event that you're gonna run at your restaurant um, or you know having a nice flyer attached to your open house invitation for your real estate business uh, you know having a video um, of the tour of the place maybe put up with your post any one of those things I mean is just more interesting than the regular text post and it's obviously going to get a little bit more attraction than the regular text post just because as you scroll through it in the newsfeed, it pops out a little bit more. So that brings me to the uh, third point, um, I guess, and the third point is going to be spark conversation. Uh, so don't always rely on your end user or your customer, your client to jumpstart the conversation with you. Take the initiative, start the conversation up yourself. Um, Try to end things off with a question. Um, if you're gonna maybe, um, you know, if you have a sushi place, uh, post up in one of your special roles maybe and ask, um, you know, see how many people can tell you what it is. Um, try to make it engaging, try to make it fun. Um, try to make it so that there's a reason for somebody to post back onto uh, whatever post uh, you shared or uh, you made um, and so forth. Um, so, Subsequently, what you can also do um, is share things that aren't necessarily about your business, but that are in the same kind of um, you know demographic, and that would also be interesting and would be kind of uh, something that you believe your target market would also appreciate and would like and could potentially share and discuss and you know interact with. Um, this also will obviously give you kind of a significantly. Uh, broader diversity of posts across your different profiles um, which just kind of keep things fresh keep things interesting make things a little bit more interesting for people to browse through and to look at so it's never a bad thing to kind of have and to do uh, furthermore 
the posts of the profiles that you share and so forth might very well be very thankful for it, might turn around and share some of your posts as well, or write something featuring your business or mentioning your uh, page. So, I mean, that's obviously a plus for that. So, try to kickstart conversations, you know, ask questions, um, try to get people to interact back with your business um, through all of your different posts. Um, now, lastly, to kind of tie things off with, um, take the time here and there to sit back and kind of analyze all of your different data, see what you've been doing, how you've been doing it, and what it has accomplished for you. Um, so generally what I'll say is if you kickstarted your social media campaign, uh, A, make sure your campaign is, is organized, so keep your things kind of on a schedule, have a list going that says, you know, uh, once a week I'm going to publish a new blog post, I'm going to share it here, 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 and there. Uh, twice a week I'm going to publish, uh, you know, X amount of new pictures on Instagram. Uh, three times a week I'm going to share articles uh, from Condé Nast on my food blog. Uh, things along those lines. So keep that schedule, stick to it, uh, go through it for a couple of months. Uh, I would say two to three months is a safe kind of uh, time period. Then sit back, look at your results, look at how much likes you've collected, uh, which posts are kind of getting more interactions, which ones are getting more views and more likes, um, which ones are producing more customers and more of a kind of uh, turnover rate for you, uh, you know, gauge your conversions and so forth compile your plan for the next couple of months, test that out, uh, then use the two kind of as an A-B test, so to speak, and see what's been working better for you and what you should be doing for the two, three months after that. Uh, generally, I'll try to restructure every couple of months just to fit with whatever changes have happened with the business, uh, you know, seasons, um, whatever may be affected. Um, but that's generally a good time frame to kind of let things run, sit back, look at the reports, see what's happened, um, and kind of take it from there. So that's the four kind of basic, quick top tips that I'd say are for small business owners looking to kickstart their social media campaigns. Um, I mean, there's obviously plenty of different things that you could be doing, um, and I could do tons of different videos on things like Hootsuite um, versus Sprout Social, uh, you know, and simple things this is from your Google Plus pages to Facebook tips and Twitter tips and Foursquare benefits and so forth. Um, so I tried to make a quick little video. Um, luckily, this did not turn out to be uh, the same 20 minutes that the last two videos ended up being. Uh, so I'm sure everybody's thankful for that. Quick recap of the top uh, four right before I let you go. So one, be creative, be yourself. Uh, Share really the insides of your business with people. Let them see what's going on. Let them see what you see on a daily basis. They'll appreciate it for it. Um, use visuals. Use video. Use audio. Use link. Um, use link previews. Uh, awesome pictures. Interesting shots. So forth and so on. Just make your posts creative. Make them stand out in the newsfeed amongst all the monotonous different posts and the tech posts and so forth. Spark conversation, try to build engagements, ask questions within your posts, try to get people to write back, ask them something that they'll want to respond back to. Uh, lastly, test. Go over your reports, check your results, keep track of your conversion ratio, make adjustments as needed, give enough time for things to run its course, reevaluate, adjust, move forward. So, thanks guys. If you have any questions, uh, leave a comment below. Shoot me a message on Facebook, Google+, Twitter. Um, I'll leave all the contact info in the description of the videos as usual. Uh, subscribe to the channel, like the video, and I'll do my best to keep pumping these out for you. Thanks.